are you angry yet? Because I am, in a way, kind of, not really, but we'll talk about it. College football, you know, the rankings, the CFP, the committee, has trotted out their first rankings in betwixt the college basketball season starting, which I don't care because, you know, college basketball is just like, who cares about college basketball until at the very least, maybe January, you know, late January, and once the NFL starts, you know, cleaning up shop and stuff like that. What in the hell is going on here? What in the world is this? First off, Ohio State is number one. That that could have been more obvious. You know, they've looked like the most dominant team in the country. Um, you know, well, Ohio State hasn't played anyone. Way. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they know where they're supposed to be. They know. And um, let's see. Looking at the top six right now, I got it on my screen here. LSU is number two, so instead it will be number two. LSU versus number three. You heard that me right. Number three, Alabama. Guess who's number four? You'll never guess. It's Penn State. Clemson is sitting at number five. Oh my God. Penn State is looking really good this season. Really under radar type team right now. So you got two. Big 10 teams in the top four. You got two SEC teams in the top four. You got three SEC teams in the top six. Georgia is number six, and Georgia is going to get, I'm telling you, I do not care. I do not care what y'all say. Georgia is going to get eliminated from playoff contention at some point. At some point before the bowl game start. At some point, it's either going to be this week against Missouri it's either going to be against Auburn. It's either going to be in the SEC Championship. It's going to be one of those. I guarantee it. Georgia is trash. So, let's keep on going, yeah? Let's keep on going, yeah? Number seven, number eight are the only two Pac-12 teams there, Oregon and Utah. All Oregon and Utah have to do is keep winning. That's all they got to do is keep winning games. Oregon's looking really good right now. So is Utah. And, you know, it is what it is. Oklahoma. Hey, Sooners. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Y'all down at number nine. What y'all doing down there? You had a you had a loss that looks good now against Kansas State. We'll talk about them in a moment. You have a loss that looks good now. So, you know. Uh, the only big win that Oklahoma has is against Texas, but we suck. We suck bad. We're probably going to lose this week. Or I mean, it, It's just all hope for Texas' this season is lost. <laughs> but Oklahoma's down at number nine. They got to do some stuff. They want to stay in the playoff race. Um, and, you know, they just got to they, – they're not looking too pretty right now, you know number nine down here, but we still got a month left to go. So, you know, it is what it is. We got 35 or so days left until the final rankings are revealed. So Oklahoma is doing good work. You know, they still got time. Still got plenty of time, boys. Florida is number 10. Why are they number 10? I have no idea at all. They've lost to the number two and number six teams in the country, and they have never looked good at any point during the season. I don't care what y'all say. Florida sucks, just like Georgia. I am so glad that Florida lost on Saturday. I am so glad, because we don't have to hear anything from them no more. Why is Auburn at 11? Well, Auburn's got some big-time wins, you know. Remember that Oregon game that they played, where they, you know, they just pulled Gus Malzahn, just pulled a rabbit out of his ass, and Bo Nix was just like, yo, let me do this, coach. And he put up a bomb that won them the game. Oh, remember that? So that's why Auburn's at the left. So it looks like we may be setting up for another possibility of a two-loss team trying to get into the playoff. That's what it's looking like right now because Baylor is sitting down there at number 12. Why they're sitting down there at number 12? I have no earthly idea. They probably should be in the top 10. But you know what? It is what it is. You know, they haven't really played anybody at all, but, you know, it is what it is. They just look 
when they play defense, you know, they play some good damn defense. And I like that, you know, this conference has practically no defense at all. Wisconsin, for some reason, some reason, for some reason, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Notre Dame, 13 through 15. Why are these two three teams here? All three got beat up at some point during the season. Wisconsin beat the dog shit out of, Miss, of Michigan. Wisconsin got beat up by Ohio State. Notre Dame got destroyed by Michigan. All three of these teams do not look good at all. These three should not even be anywhere near the top 15 at all. Kansas State, though, they should be. They should be, I think. You know, they looked very, very good. You know, Even though they have two losses, they look great. They've looked great lately. And Oklahoma, oh boy, they're, they're crying over there down there in Norman right now because of that loss they had. So that's going to be a big detraction on Oklahoma's resume to get that loss like that. But, you know, Kansas State could move into the top 15. You know, it is what it is. I have no idea why Minnesota's ranked so low, though. I get it. But when you look at Minnesota's schedule, though, when you look at Minnesota's schedule, when you look at Minnesota's schedule, looking at it, you know, now, you know, okay, they played Maryland and Rutgers. That wasn't their fault. That was just the way the schedule worked out. They played Maryland and they played Rutgers. Maryland and Rutgers are ass, my dudes. So, you know, they got some big stuff coming up with Penn State and Iowa and Wisconsin. You know, it all should be fun. But, you know, they played Georgia Southern, who already beat a ranked team themselves, and they played one of the best teams, the FCS. It's South Dakota State. So I don't think they should be penalized for that. You know, South Dakota State, really, really good. Didn't, didn't ESPN just go up to Brookings, South Dakota, for a number one versus number three matchup already? Didn't they just go up there for that? It is what it is. I don't know why Minnesota's ranked so low, but it is what it is. Iowa is all the way down at number 18, which is pretty sad in a way. But then again, Iowa lost twice already, so... You know, it is what it is. Who cares? I was just down there. Wake Forest is sitting at number 19. Don't know why they're sitting down there. Number 19. I get it. They lost Louisville in a barn burner that was on the ACC network. And the ACC network is trash. But it is what it is. Um, They got an opportunity to beat Clemson in a couple weeks. Hopefully, they should. They should beat Clemson. I hope they do. I really hope they do. And then, you know, bottom, you know, bottom to get out here is a bunch of teams from the American and from, you know, and Boise State. Uh, a bunch of teams in the American, number 20, Cincinnati. Their only losses to Ohio State. They've looked good. You know, Sands, you know, a couple of times where the performance was still, like, not there. Like last week, it's East Carolina, number 21, Memphis, who just beat the number 25 team in the country, SMU. Had no and good old Navy's up at number 24. So, you know, we could be seeing something about that if Navy sneaks up and is like, oh, yeah, um, we're going to be the top group of five team now. So with Navy, and keep in mind, Navy is playing Notre Dame in a couple weeks too, remember? So that could get a big victory in a couple of weeks as well. Why is Oklahoma State in this ranking, though? I have no idea why. Did, did the committee just not want San Diego State in the rankings or something like that? I would have put San Diego State there instead of Oklahoma State. But sure, they've got Chuba Hubbard. That's my biggest gripe with this ranking is Oklahoma State being ranked. Why are they ranked? They have three losses. Let's not rank three lost teams yet. Let's not do that. Oklahoma State. Already lost to Texas, and Texas is a booty this year. They are booty. They already lost to Kansas State as well, didn't they? Or or did they beat Kansas State? I don't remember because neither was probably Oklahoma State's not going anywhere, you know, as far as the Big 12 championship goes. Oklahoma State should need to be ranked. Get them out of here. Get them out of the damn pole. Put in San Diego State, baby. Where are the Aztecs at? That's going to do it. It's going to do it. That's going to be a week. You know, whole videos. Um, so, you know, I noticed that there was somebody that tried to reach out to me um, trying to do a video collab, Citizen Arcane. Um, I'm going to have to respectfully decline your invitation. Um, 
don't have the video capabilities to be doing, you know, collabs right now, I'm trying to build up my channel on my own. You know, it's it's unfortunate, but you know, you gotta you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, build up your channel on your own. Thank you. Thank you so much. But, you know, just keep watching, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep keep you updated on arena football and stuff like that from time to time. But it's not a priority over here. It is not. I only made like three videos or so last year. In the last couple months, talking about arena football, anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. So that's the college football playoff rankings and stuff like that. Yeah, gonna be good. Gonna be good stuff. Gonna be good stuff. We got we got a long way to go, y'all. We got a long way to go.